Okay. Now, for those of you that are my friends and you're in the Zoom meeting that we're doing now, if you have any questions, please pop them in the chat window. I have, uh, we're here to answer your questions. Additionally, we've got some new information new things that we're gonna be sharing with everybody, especially for those of you that are registered for our September bootcamp. So let me first come down here, take a look at the folks that are here. And I got a couple of new faces, so before we jump into the topics at hand, I'm gonna jump over here and let's see if you all are as visible as you think you are. Okay, so Luron, this is your profile. And let me scroll down a little bit more. And let's bring up Sam. And let's see, we got anybody else that is relatively new. Okay, so Laurent, you bought my home study course about a year ago. So welcome to a live broadcast. And let's bring up Sam. Now, Sam, we go back all the way to 2017. And I'm happy to see that you're in the September boot camp. And so you're in Maluka and you are, you've been a director three for 14 years. Okay. 
Now, we'll be back to those profiles. September marks the beginning of the recruiting season. And now the games begin. The fall is the best season to build your business. That's because once the summer season is done, people shake the beet sand and barbecues out of their heads and begin to get more serious about money. Vacations are over. School is starting back up. Business seems to start buzzing again. Inflation and the rising cost of everything is causing more people to need to make additional income from home. In the fall, you've got more social events, parties, and family get-togethers than the whole rest of the year put together. Combining all these three factors results in two important things. One, people spend more money, and the cost of everything has gone up. And two, people need more money. So with that in mind, understand that more people begin seeking part-time work or finding a better paying job in September than any other month. That's when people get serious about making money again. So we're gonna show you how to find perfect prospects on LinkedIn and Facebook that want to make more money from home and LinkedIn makes it easier than ever before. Now, can everybody hear me okay? Because Peter sent me a little message and he says he can't hear me. Can the rest of you hear me? So, Peter, um, everybody can hear. Now, today, with inflation running out of control and skyrocketing gas prices at the pump, Record numbers of people are actively searching for alternative ways to generate income without relying solely on having a traditional job. Every month, millions of professionals are jumping into LinkedIn to find ways to make extra or full-time income from home. That's why it's so important that you know how to find them before they sign up with your competition. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional social network with 860 million professionals. I'm waiting for the numbers, but my expectations are that this number is gonna jump to 870 million. LinkedIn is no longer a secret. Millions of marketers are rushing to join every month, forcing LinkedIn to make significant changes to the way they're doing things. So when you know the kinds of professionals that would be naturally interested in getting into business with you, they are easier to find, connect with, and enroll them into your business on LinkedIn than any place else. LinkedIn's gonna make it easy. For one thing, they allow people to use the open to work banner around their picture. I mean, how easy is that? But as you search, as you look these things over, you want to identify by the contents of their page, what they say, what they've done in the past. You can pick out the people who would clearly be more interested in your business, would have the aptitude to be successful. LinkedIn makes that open to work frame around the picture, puts a bullseye on people. So you wanna focus on the headline, the about section, their activity, their experience sections. And in some cases, the number of connections will tell you an awful lot. LinkedIn makes it easy to pick out the people that you want to talk to. And the more they put on their profile, the more anxious they are for you to reach out to them. 
people looking for opportunities on LinkedIn. We did a search for just looking 7.7 .7 million. People looking for opportunities, 1.6 million. Looking for an opportunity, 1.1 million. These numbers are changing all the time. Seeking an opportunity, 3.7 million. Open to an opportunity, 2.1 million. So we do a search and we come up with 28 people that all have training experience. You want to be successful in network marketing, the people that have training experience. It's a plus. So now we're looking at these 28 people. You look at their profile. You study the content. And it frankly should only take you 15 to 20 seconds quickly to review and consider who you want to talk to and distinguish them from the people that you know. And then the next thing is going to be, we're going to start talking to them. Six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 10 people here that we picked. The more selective you are about who you talk to, the more successful you're going to be. 28 people, we've picked 10. And then we start talking to them. You follow the scripts that I provided you with. And we've eliminated six. And we got four left. But the more selective you are about who you talk to, the more you qualify people, the more people you're going to sign up in your business. So you reached out to 10 people, started to have a conversation, and you closed four out of 10. That's a good number, right? That's a good number. And that's all there is to it, folks. That's all there is to it. Unfortunately, millions of network marketers are jumping into LinkedIn and virtually jamming promotional messages about their company to everybody. And to be honest, it's messing up the whole network. LinkedIn is making some dramatic changes to protect their paying members from the sharks. The last thing in the world you want to do is come across as one of those network marketing people, one of those sharks. So for those of you that are here for the first time, did you know that it takes 90 minutes for the average person to respond to a text message, to an email? but only takes 90 seconds for the average person to respond to a text message. Today, 99% of your prospecting, recruiting, and business building activity can now be done on your mobile phone with a Facebook and LinkedIn phone app. It's easy to talk to people with a text. Texting is like talking on Facebook and LinkedIn. Texting is sometimes better than talking, as a matter of fact, because most people don't answer their phone today, but everyone looks at their texts. A text isn't intrusive as an unexpected phone call. Texting is universally accepted. Almost everyone does it. Most new network marketers are reluctant to call people, but will eagerly text someone when provided with the proper strategies and scripts. And texting doesn't require any special skills. And there's no learning curve. Adding animated content to your text message is producing immediate results and is a way to impress your connections and showcase your social networking expertise a gif a moving image draws extra attention to your message so people are much more likely to answer it much faster our birthday strategy for years for years has been 
mind-boggling how effective it is. You wish someone a happy birthday, and now we're using gifts. We're using moving images. Change your birthday. Make your birthday September 4th and see what happens. And now, in addition to birthdays, the holiday strategies have been working great. We have official holidays. We have the Labor Day weekend coming up next weekend. And then, of course, we have unofficial holidays. Like last Wednesday was National Waffle Day. Mary, I just learned that Wednesday is National Waffle Day. I thought you'd like to know if you're looking for an excuse to have waffles for breakfast. You know, we've been connected for some time, but I've never really talked. What do you do? Friday was National Dog Day. Bill, I just learned that Friday is National Dog Day and thought you would like to know in case you had a dog. You know, it's been quite some time since we talked. What's new? And of course, Sunday was National Bowtie Day. So if you own a bow tie, but haven't worn it lately, you have an excuse to wear it today because Sunday is National Bow Tie Day. Mary, we've been connected on LinkedIn since September 19th of 2016, but we've never really talked. Your resume is very impressive. What do you do? Sunday night was also Wine Day. Today is National Wine Day. Do you prefer red wine or white wine? These are all designed to start conversations with your prospects. The frequent use of animated GIFs in your messages will make you stand out from the crowd of other people that your prospects are talking to, makes them smile, and makes them respond to you faster. The ripple effect of a post can start conversations that result in sales. The happy birthday message, happy anniversary message, posting motivational content impresses your connections easy to start conversations even posts about the economy the rising price of gas holidays so we're just about done with the holidays for august we've got national beach day but we've got holidays that you can start referring to September. We've got next week is a Labor Day weekend. But you've got International Bacon Day. You've got Beard Day. You've got on Monday National Cheese Pizza Day. All kinds of opportunities for you to start talking to people and that's what it's all about but you have to be talking to the right people all right so let's first Let's look at the Ron. I'm going to unmute her. And so in looking at this, advertising, marketing specialist, McKinney, Vento, coordinator, wellness educator. So anytime that you see somebody who's been teaching school for 15 years, tells you flat out they know something about network marketing. So there, there are some definitely things here 
that uh, you really need to uh, address and fix. Let me look in the chat window. And um, so you're relatively new to LinkedIn. Let's come over here. And there's clearly a lot of things that you could be doing with this. Let's come over and look at Sam. Let's unmute Sam. Sam, you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, welcome. And um, it looks like you're just getting started on LinkedIn, but did I read that you've been in Malaluka for a, a long time and you're a director, you've been a director three for a long time? Yes. Okay. So what, what has prevented you from going faster? Or... Um, I'm caretaking. I moved across the country. Uh, it's been crazy. Okay. Okay. Well, the nice thing is that you have an opportunity with social media because when you first got into Maluga, they were not a social media friendly country company. No. no. Okay. In fact, uh, they almost forbid their people from using social media. So they've only been actively endorsing building your business and social media for at least maybe four or five years. So yes. it's, it's changed. And so if you have an hour a day, two hours a day, you could accomplish more in two hours a day on LinkedIn than you could add, than you could accomplish in a week running around your neighborhood trying to meet people. Yes. So it's just a matter of making the right connections and, uh, you know, kind of moving forward. And uh, you learn about this, you know, by doing it. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So you... Um, Okay. So we're glad you're here. We've got some new things that we're going to share with everybody. Let me kind of scroll down here and look at something here. You know, it, it, I, get, I, I, I really get a kick out of this because I love going down the list of people and I see folks and I think I shock some people when I bring up their profile. So, um, she bailed. Pity. Because she hung around, she could learn a couple of things. But there are going to be people like this that don't know what to do. That frankly are muddying the waters Blasting out messages to people. And, and frankly, what it's doing is it's really hurting a lot of you. Now, the interesting thing is that 
for those of you that are students, you are going to be oblivious to all of this. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to you picking the people that you want to talk to. It comes down to you controlling the conversations that you're having with prospects. So you can talk to people that you know in advance would clearly be interested in what you're doing. So every day, and I'm going to just, uh, every day you come up here, you can see, well, we got three more people that want to join my network. I got two messages that I haven't seen before, and I got 17 notifications. Every single day, there's a routine to follow. You follow the routine. You study who you're talking to. And uh, you go. So I'm going to take a look at Joanne. Creating the right and perfect employment opportunity. So she's looking for people to come to work for her company. And you're going to find a lot of network marketers out there mislead people by giving them the impression that they're offering jobs when indeed they're not hiring. They're looking to bring people into their business. All right, so I'm going to pop over here. And I did a little bit of this earlier today. But we're making a case study and a change. So here, since this morning, James has one more person that is in the network category. So we pop over here. And when people join your network, we hit them with the iceberg. Now we have several versions of the icebreaker, but if we're in a hurry, And we just want to acknowledge the connection. We throw in the iceberg. Asking somebody, how long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? Is a natural part of the conversation process. Okay, so every day, and then we're going to come across the people that we did earlier. All right, so, he, so you're going to get these. Develop our relationships and deeper connections. I use LinkedIn to connect with business coaches.
And so he wants to set up, let's, let's talk, let's talk. Better human connections. So how long has he been doing this is the question. See, he's an affiliate man, he's an affiliate. Send out cards for 12 years. And he's an affiliate manager, which is not a high position in the company, real estate broker. Okay, so you ask somebody how long you've been on LinkedIn, they're going to come back and ask you how long. They're going to ask you how long you've been on it. You ask people what they do, they're going to come back and ask you what you do. So what we want to do is we want to determine right out of the gate by looking at people, former medical field sales rep, seek, whoops, seeking a new opportunity. We'll start working in March. Before that, he worked for this company for two years. He worked for 24 Hour Fitness for almost six years. And in 2019, when COVID hit, they just dumped a lot of their people.
You ask people how long they've been on LinkedIn, they're going to come back and ask you how long you've been on. You ask people what they do, they're going to come back and ask you what you do. So the fact that he worked with 24 Hour Fitness in 2019, 24 Hour Fitness in California shut well, everywhere. They shut down 95% of the clubs. We were making a lot of friends with people in 24 Hour Fitness back then. You have to use the content of the profile of everyone that you're talking to. To move the conversation along. So while we're waiting for him to come back and answer that we're going to come back over here to the message area because this is where now what happened here we got somebody else now So they're going to be accepting your connection request all the time. Again, we don't have time to look at everybody, so we acknowledge the fact that we're connected. But she's now notice that we've got a little thing up here. You haven't connected with Debbie, but we have. So LinkedIn's got some stuff that's not working. So she's a territory manager. She's looking for work. What do they do? So she was a territory manager. She stopped working in 2021, October. Prior to that, she was a regional sales manager. Prior to that, she was an account executive. So she moved up from account executive where she worked for 16, almost 17 years. The obvious question is what prompted you to leave after 17 years? And it's not hard to figure that out because it looks like she got a promotion. She moved up. So she did it for almost a year and seven months. And then she took another job, 2020. The big question is, why did she leave this job and what did she do in between? It's all about learning about the other person. So we acknowledge the connection. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to look So this is somebody we reached out to this morning. And in going over the conversation, the conversational history, I got a big, big question as to whether or not we even want to continue to talk to this guy. All right. So let's see what we got here. has no response to that. So let's just kind of work our way down. We got another one here. 
My mother modeled professionally, taking over models that she started back in 2065. So this was Saturday. On Monday, you can start the conversation with this. Little bites, little teeny weeny little bites, because she also told us she did something else. But we're going to keep the conversation on our agenda. We're just finding out what do they do. We're just finding out, do they have a need for what we have to offer, period. Now, the other thing we have to do is we have to look at who are we talking to? An associate project manager. Now, somebody did this for it's all written in third person. Now, she may have been looking for work, but now she's got a job. All right, how's work? going so you reached out to her in july This is somebody that you know. Now. So what are you doing for work? Well, you may know her, but the bottom line is she's got a job. A better job would be what what is what 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 is what does your work entail? But we'll leave that one alone. Okay. 
So here's somebody that you've been talking to for a long time. And what are we what are we trying to decide? Is this somebody Okay, so we look at fret. The sooner we can identify, searching for my next sales opportunity. Nine months, eight months, 10 months. one year. So th these are all, for all intents and purposes, short-lived jobs. Question would be, why did you leave Synergy? And he said, left due to business closing the doors. What, maybe they, Fred, you didn't sell enough. So the company shut their doors. Now, so you hit him with the, in April, you hit him with the project launch script. Okay, 2021. This is all you. He's giving you a thumbs up. That's what you're getting, the thumbs up. Do 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 do. But here's a gift. Okay, so LinkedIn, as usual, is the gift stolen. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna jump on the internet. We're looking for a gift. Middle finger gift. Go to images. And we'll go to animated. Hmm. That's not bad. We'll save this one. And we'll come down here because they've always got good ones here. Got interesting side effects. Now, to be honest with you, we're not going to send it. I can just copy this one. Come back over here.
And so we're going to establish a rule. Okay. You're not talking to this guy. They don't respond. Forget about them. You got too many other people that you could be talking to. What's going on, man? So let's kind of go down here a little bit. Holly sent you a voice message. So she's a holistic business coach. Hi, James. Thank you so much for connecting and for your message. Um, I've been on LinkedIn for a long time. Um, I don't even know how long, but since it was maybe in the early days and some of the beta testing. So I don't know, 15 years or more. Um, I love LinkedIn. When I originally started, I was doing more so for getting jobs in the corporate arena. And now I use it for networking and finding collaboration partners, referral partners and clients. And it's wonderful. How's that working for you and how long have you been on here? Um, also, how I create magic here is by getting to know my connections better. So if you're open to it, I'd love to hop on a virtual coffee to learn more about you and your goals to see what magic we can create together. Have a great day and speak soon. Okay. So now, she's got her own business. She's been doing this for four years. And so here we are. This was last week. Now, so the question that we want to ask her we don't necessarily need to jump on the phone. Like you. Been on LinkedIn for many years. Now, congratulations. with your coaching business. Now, we look at her page. Running your own business. So, what we're going to do what kind of business owners what kind of businesses we don't say business owners, what kind of businesses do your typical
What kind of what what kind of businesses do the typical clients have? We're going to find out what kind of businesses. Then we're going to come back. We're going to ask you: Have you ever worked with any people that were network marketers? All right, that's what it's all about. It's all about conversation. And you've got to identify the people that you no longer want to deal with. So let's come down here a little bit. And you're going to have people here if I had time I would bring up Kevin James because he's a typical example and now we have something we could send back to him So this is somebody from the 17th. All right, so let's come over here and take a look. General manager, 24 hour fitness. So according to this, wrong question. Okay, this was back in 2020. Why, the question is, if they're still working, why, why do you want to leave 24-hour fitness? All right, now we have two more sessions tonight, but I need to come over here and I want to show you a couple of things. Now, I have opened up registration for our September boot camp. And we have added a number of new compartmentalized training modules. One of them is posting sources and subjects stepping everybody through the process of what do I post? Where do I get the information? How do I make my own post? And so these are all in the process. We've got them on a, an assembly line. Posting sources is finished. Three social networking laws should be finished by Wednesday or Thursday, and we've got a whole new step-by-step -step training exclusively for Sales Navigator. Better promotion is our twofer. September boot camp, October boot camp, use the promo code double, not the price. And finally, we have set up our fall retreat october the 21st to the 22nd it may go till sunday the 23rd
Best promotion is maxlinegard.com forward slash retreat combo. You go to the website, it's $279. Use the promo code GOBIGFAST. You can pick it up for $199. It's our Labor Day special promotion. Everything's going to heat up in September, folks. I'm here to help you take your business to the next level before the end of the year. You have to be talking to people, but you have to be talking to the right people. So, Tonight at 9 o'clock, I have a special broadcast I'm doing about LinkedIn. And at 10 o'clock, we will have another Ask Max session. So until then, best of luck in building your business. And God bless.